boat. <laughs> if you need the microphone, Sierra. No, it'll sound worse. <laughs> <clears throat> I was um sleeping last night. Well, trying to. Um, and I felt a little restless, you could say. I felt something heavy was on my chest that I just couldn't let go of. I had um, a sermon ready a couple of weeks back for today, and I woke up at 6 o'clock in the morning this morning, and something hit me um, with everything that's been going on in my life. It's just been sin after sin after sin, and I feel like, um, thank you. I feel like I've been letting people down, but thinking about it, I am. And I think we all let people down, even ourselves. Yes. But it hit me this morning just about how I felt I was alone when I keep going through these things, and I felt like I was just... I wasn't going to make it. So I woke up at 6 o'clock and wrote a whole new sermon. <laughs> and the first actual reading is in Saul, Romans, Romans 7, 14 to 25, which, Danica, can you read? For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am of the flesh, sold as a slave to sin, for I do not understand what I am doing. Because I do not practice what I want to do, but I do what I hate. Now if I do what I do not want to do, I agree with the law that is good. So now I am no longer the one doing it, but it is in sin living in me. For I know that nothing good lives in me, that is, in my flesh. For the desire to do what is good is with me, but there is no ability to do it. For I do not do the good that I want to do, but I practice the evil that I do not want to do. Now if I do what I do, what I do not want. I'm no longer the one that does it, but it is the sin that lives in me. So I discover this law. When I want to do what is good, evil is present with me. For in, for inner self, I delight in God's law, but I see a different law in the parts of my body, waging war against the law of my mind and taking me prisoner to the law of sin in the parts of my body. What a wretched man I am. Who will rescue me from this body of death? Thanks be to God through Jesus Christ our Lord. So then with my mind, I myself am serving the law of God, but with my flesh, the law of sin. Amen. Amen. So, going on with that and why I chose that, that was, um, the title of that was The Problems of Sin in Us. Um, okay, so I struggle with sin every day as a believer as of does everyone in the house of God. In order to prevent such sin, we cannot plant the seed. Satan is our enemy. Yes, he is. Satan does not step foot at the gates of heaven, but as, <laughs> we, as we are of bone and flesh, he controls those who plant the seed and commit the yeah. unholy. Mm -hmm. And then I wanna talk about choices. Um, so, Grandma, with, we were doing a Bible study at home and we were, we were going back through just the beginning of the Bible and with Adam and Eve and she brought up the question why did God not stop Adam and Eve from consuming the apple <clears throat> God wanted to give them the choice of good or evil him or Satan just as he does with us yeah. and I wrote this which is, it kind of goes along with it if you're very imaginative like me um, I wrote this a while back. It said, Blessed be the Lord, my rock, for who trains my hands for battle and my fingers for warfare. He heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. He accounts the numbers of the stars. He shares them all with you. So what I meant for okay. he heals the brokenhearted and bandages their wounds. He counts the numbers of the stars and he shares them all with you is... <clears throat> Um, at night, I usually open my window, not like my blinds, and I look out at the uh, sky when I can't sleep. And it kind of got me thinking, if you look at the stars, you know, they're all uncountable. You don't know how many is in the sky. And that's kind of with how many choices we are given in our lives. Past, present, future. Um, 
God gives us those choices because he loves us. Um, <clears throat> those who follow in Christ are those who fiddle with the unrighteous. No matter how long or how strong our bond is with God, we still fall short of his glory. But if we try our best with our faith, then God will grant us peace that passes all understanding. Yeah. We will stand strong at the right hand of his throne as servants to him. <coughs> but God is faithful. Amen. Yes, he is. <laughs> Have you ever stumbled upon the thought of your faith having no worth? <laughs> we forget that our faith is strong and in times of trouble there's a God who will never push us past our limit. Amen. Yeah. My God, our God is faithful. Yeah. No matter how much you lose, you won't lose him. I forget this more <clears throat> than I should and sh I'm sure everybody does. But as Christians, we still have our doubts. But God is faithful. Yeah. Yeah. He stands faithful to us when no other does. That's the kind of God we serve. Thank you, Lord. Um, kind of going along with all that is just a lot <coughs> been going on in my life. Left and right, I kind of feel like I'm letting people down. I'm losing relationships with people I care about because of the things I do. And it kind of got me thinking, if I can't stand or have a relationship with the people in my life, and I can't even keep a relationship with them. You know, how, how do I keep a relationship with God? Or even myself in general. And thinking on that, even if I do lose a relationship with myself or the people in my life that I care about, I'm not going to lose the relationship I have with God because yeah. God is forgiving. Yes, yeah. And I have this... In Psalms 56, 5 through 9, this is kind of about the enemy. And it says, They twist my words all day long. All their thoughts against me are evil. They stir up strife. They lurk. They watch my steps while they wait to take my life. Will they escape in spite of such sin? God, bring down the nations in wrath. You yourself have recorded my wanderings. Put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? Then my enemies will retreat on the day when I call. The sign of God is for me. Um, <clears throat> I've been struggling with my faith. Um, <clears throat> and I have things that I have to make right with people in my life. Things I regret doing. Things I know I'll never forget. And just fighting with myself and telling myself these, these things, bad things, like I'm never going to make it. There's no way for me. And that's a lie. That's right. Yeah, it is. Yes. Right. That is Satan. Yes. Yes. But Satan has no power over you. That's right. He do not already got it. God is the one to judge. Do not yes. let people in your life judge you for who you are, for what you do. Do not let Satan condemn your soul. There's a lot to it, but. God is our Father. He is our friend, our Savior, our Lord. And Satan is one thing, and that is nothing. Right. And I believe now that I can do so much just as anybody else can. And I believe and everybody in here can do so much. And... There are things in our lives that we do that we will never forget Amen. or that we may forget that other people in our lives will never forget. But once you ask for forgiveness, all God does is forget. And yes. <laughs> that's good. there's no need to worry for who you lose in your lifetime here. They... It won't matter once you're in heaven because you'll be with God and God will love you the way you are. Yes, you will. Because in his eyes you are perfect. Yes. And I think the hardest thing about being flesh and bone is 
that everybody wants to not really say be perfect, but try their best. And I feel like sometimes people will try a little too hard, especially me. You know, you give and you give and you give and you give your all to a lot of things that don't even matter. Try right. good. <laughs> because you forget all the things you're working for, all the things that do mean something and have worth in your life. And a lot of that for me is my family and God and my Christianity and you guys. Because I feel like without any of that, I'm nothing. So I, last night, when going back to last night, when I was trying to go to sleep, I was restless, you know, I felt something on my chest. I just couldn't get off. And it was the fact of the guilt I had felt for all the things I'd done, all the things I know I will do. But God gives me that choice to make it right. Whether it takes a long time or a day or a week or a year, God gives me that choice just as he did Adam and Eve, just as he will you. And there are things in my life that have put me to where I am today. And I believe that I can work strong in God and I can do my best because I've watched people in my life do it. I've watched Sydney do it. I've watched um, my grandma do it. I've watched <laughs> a lot of people who have really tried their best and it's kind of getting me to where I am today. You know, you see everybody that's doing great and you see everybody that's just being their selves, but you know, in a good way. <laughs> and even when we are falling short of the glory of God, there's nothing we need to worry about. Because every day we sin, mm -hmm. we commit things we will not follow through with. Bad things, good, bad, good things. We make promises we will break. We say things we'll regret, do things we don't mean to do. And some sin comes unnoticed. That's why Everybody says, ask for forgiveness morning, night, because everybody here may judge you, but the one true person who can judge you is once you step foot in heaven and God judges you for who you are. And I feel like thinking on that, it kind of scared me, if you want me to be honest. Because I was just thinking of all the things I've ever done in my life and all the things I regret doing. And just that, how powerful God is and how much he means to me and just having him, you know, sit there and judge me. It's, it, it, it's worrisome, but I believe we don't have to worry. Because I believe everybody in this room, everybody out of this room, has a chance. That's right. And I pray to God that we all make it. Yes, man. Yes, man. In closing for this, I actually just want to say um, thank you guys. Without all of you, probably, probably wouldn't be doing any of this. Um, without Sydney, I probably wouldn't be doing any of this because you guys in my life. It just makes me want to thrive to do what I do. And I feel like it gives me hope. And I couldn't ask for anything more. Amen.